Hi everyone. Today's lesson is how to draw a realistic human face using a charcoal. You can start a draw a large oval. Draw a long vertical line from the head to the chin. And make a four horizontal lines for eyebrows, eyes, nose, and lips. Then let's draw ears on each side of your face. Usually, your ears should be lined out by your eye level. So, this is how it looks. Now, let's draw the shapes of the hair. It is depending on your hair length or style. You need to observe and draw as you can see. Then, draw your eyebrows just like this. Let's draw your eyes. First, make a big circle for your white eye. Usually, gap between two eyes is about a size of a one eye. Draw smaller black eyes and the inside of the uh, white circles. It is important that your eyelids overlap slightly on the top of your uh, black eye. Remember, observe your eyes shaved carefully. Usually the end of uh, your eyes are sharp pointed. If the shape, size, or even the position is not correct, you can always erase and correct them. Let's adjust and darken the uh, edge of your black eye before highlighting it. Now, it's time for your nose. Make a small circle for centering your nose and use doubly shaped curvy line to create the bottom part of your nose. Connect the lines all the way to the uh, eyes. As you can see, you can always use your finger to smudge to make smooth and dark tone. It's time for lips. Make two short lines as you see to the fourth vertical line that you made. Make the upper lip and the lower lip from the center line. Okay, this is how it looks. It's time to make wrinkles. I raised the bottom half of my eyes using my fingers and eraser. And then darken the edges of my black eyes again. Now you can draw your eyelashes and eyebrows. Remember, as I said, you can always erase once you are not satisfied and you can readjust in any time. I'm using an eraser to erase lightest areas in my face. This will make your face more realistic and look alive. If you want to make symmetric eyeglasses, start from the center of your nose. It's easier. And once again, Rub it and make darker tones. It is important that before you make any marks, look at the model or photo carefully how it looks. Wherever you feel dark, keep darkening it. And that's it. It's very simple. Just watch how do I shade my drawings. Now, it is the shading time.
Okay, that's it for today. And I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you.